welcome back guys we are reviewing for our star math test okay today we're going to go over ratios and rates so let's take a look at our star questions that were commonly missed let me share my screen share. all right ratios and unit rates the first question says the table shows the time monique worked and the amount of money she earned during four different weeks based on the information in the table how much will Monique earn if she worked 40 hours in a week? So here are some key things we need to see. 40 hours in a week, and she worked four weeks, okay? That information is important. So we want to know how much she earns if she works for 40 hours. So here's her first. 15 hours, she earned $123.75. 20 hours, she worked and earned 165, 24 hours she worked, 198, and 30 hours she worked, she got $247.50. Now, we're looking for 40 hours. The closest one to 40 is 30, but I can't really make a, a jump from 30 to 40, but I can with 20. If I worked, Twenty hours, and I got a hundred and sixty-five dollars. What can I do to get to forty? What can I do to this twenty to get to forty, which is what we want? If you see that you can multiply by two, you are correct. Two times twenty will give us forty. So if we do times two at the bottom, that should tell us how much she earned. So let's go ahead and work that out. One sixty-five times two. So we have two times five is 10, two times six is 12, plus one is 13, two times one is two, plus one is four, okay? Oh, excuse me, three. Two times one is two, plus one is three. $330, and I do see that as an answer choice, okay? Finding a relationship between what you're looking for um, is a good way to solve these types of problems. Okay, let's look at the next one. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a choir is five to four. There are 60 girls in the choir. How many boys are in the choir? So let's take a look here. We have a ratio of boys to girls and that relationship is five to four. There are 60 girls, but they wanna know how many are boys, okay? So let's go ahead and set it up. Boys to girls. Boys is five. Girls is four. They told us that we have 60 girls. How many boys are there? Okay, so let's take a look. Can I do something to four to get to 60? Well, right off the bat, I can't really tell that, but I can divide. I can divide to see if four goes into that evenly. One times four is four, which leaves two. And then we have five times four, which is 20, sorry. So four times 15 will give us 60. So I need to do the same to the top. I need to do five times 15. So 15 times five, five times five, 25. Five times one is five, plus two is seven, 75, which I see as an answer choice, okay? All right, this was a refresh your brains on ratios and rates, okay? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have a review game. Go ahead and go back into your folder and practice with ratios and rates, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.